Despite the outbreak of Omicron pandemic uh, in March, uh, our Beringer Ingelheim human pharma supply chain uh, site in Zhangjiang has not stopped production and we still keep five production lines, lines fully open. And our production capacity is around at around 70 to 80 percent of normal conditions. The other uh, biopharma plant in Zhangjiang uh, uh, also is working, where we have more than 100 employees uh, who volunteer to stay on the site and guarantee core production. They are producing life-saving cancer medications, which are very critical uh, for patients, and they these cannot be discontinued. They have been working nonstop for more than 30 days now. So if we look at our April deliveries, uh, we have managed to meet successfully all our local, uh, domestic, and also oversee uh, production and supply needs. Unfortunately, we cannot rotate people, so this, we would be happy if we find a solution so that we can exchange the people. Uh, these people uh, are ensuring uh, that uh, the production is uh, fulfilled and, and we are running at, uh, um, at uh, 100% of, uh, of production. People sleep in, in the factory. They are being provided uh, also food. And, and the rest is mostly work because uh, with the less people in the factory, there is more, more work for, for, this, uh, for these people. We really appreciate the commitment of, of this team that makes sure that uh, not only we as a company can work and deliver 100% of our production, but also we ensure that the medicines which are needed for Chinese patients are produced and provided and distributed them uh, from our plant. Uh, it is not easy uh, to transport medicine out of Shanghai because you have uh, local prevention measures, uh, what uh, needs to be fulfilled. Also, provinces have different prevention measures, how they accept or not accept goods. So it's not, not unified and that created a, a, lot of, a lot of issues. However, we found uh, ways how to resolve it. Uh, it is also important to, to raise the point that uh, we uh, found really good collaboration with uh, the, the government at all levels in, in Shanghai, uh, at customs, medicine inspection, at uh, airports, taxation, and also industry associations. They were also helping us to look for solutions uh, so that we can implement paperless uh, operations and address all these difficult pain points so that we can ensure supply of uh, critical life-saving medicines to the patients. So we got a lot of support and we are very thankful for that. After the pandemic is over, we hope that we can also maintain this good collaboration with the government and with the whole uh, industrial chain. And as soon as we will be able to resume our production, As a pharmaceutical manufacturer uh, providing innovative uh, medicine to patients, we know that the medical need for our products is here. The patient needs them, and we are willing and trying to do everything possible that we uh, are supplying all the patients with, uh, with needed medicines. The Chinese market uh, will be growing also in the future because uh, 
uh, with aging population, with better medicines providing, uh, provided to patients, there will be continuous demand for, for, for our products. Also, if you look at the China biopharmaceutical industry, we see that this area is developing very fast and, and there is increasing demand in China for um, contract manufacturing for biopharmaceutical, especially for high quality and global standards, which Beringer Ingelheim is, is providing. So at Beringer Ingelheim, we welcome and uh, we want to drive healthy development of healthcare industry because that is fully in line of uh, what is our mission to uh, really innovate and develop new medicines uh, that can help resolve the unmet medical needs of patients in China.